Hi, I'm Barbara Cocciolini. I've worked with children for years as an art specialist. I am the Arts and Crafts Coordinator for the Bronx Zoo and the New York Aquarium. I love working creatively with children, and I have some new and exciting projects that I'd like to show you. So let's get started. Today we're going to make wild animal paper bag puppets. This is a project that I'm currently going to be doing at the Bronx Zoo for the Animal Tales Extravaganza. We can do a lion, a peacock, a ring-tailed lemur, an American alligator. And today we're going to do an example of the giraffe. The craft tools that you'll need for this project are appropriate size scissors, a good tacky sticky glue, and a brush to use with the glue. Paper bag construction paper in black, tan, brown, white, and pink, an empty paper towel roll, some yarn if you have it, some beads or buttons for the eyes, and some pipe cleaners for the eyelashes and for the tongue. If you have some pom-poms, you can use those for the antlers. So then the first thing you're gonna do is go to the website and get the templates, print them out, cut them out, and that's gonna be what you're gonna use to cut out and make all the different patterns for your giraffe. There are gonna be three little pieces that you can use, cut out and put for the ear, and a few little pieces you can use for the eye. And then there are a bunch of different little shapes that you can cut out to use for the white part and the brown part of the giraffe, and that's gonna be what makes your pattern when you put it on your giraffe's tummy. There's also a template that the antlers, and that's the part that you can use the pom-pom for if you have it, to make the little antlers that are going, going to go on the top of the head. The next thing that we're going to do is we have to make a nose for our, our giraffe. So we're going to take an empty paper towel roll, and we're going to cut it about this long, and then you can take it and bend it in a little bit so it looks more like a nose. Fold it down, bend it in, and then you're going to take a little bit of glue, and you're going to glue it under the front of the paper bag. So that it's going to look like that. And hold it for a second so that it dries. And then once you've done that, then you can move on to the next part where you're going to use the part that you cut out in the beige to, to glue on and put his tummy. And then you're going to add the, the pattern that's the three parts of his nose that you've also cut out, glue those on, and then you can start adding the different shapes that are going to be the pattern of your giraffe and put a little bit of glue on them. And if it goes over the side like that, you can cut it off at the edge so that it looks like it's going around the back. You can add nostrils to his little nose once you've glued on the pink and the white and the black onto the nose. Stick those on. And then the little pieces that you've cut out for his eyes, like so, with some of the glue. Stick those guys down. And then you can take your buttons or your beads, put a little more glue, and stick on the eyes. And then you have the antler that you've maybe put the pom-pom on, if you're lucky enough to have them. Stick the antlers, glue, put a little glue on the back of the bag. And that you might actually have to hold for a second because it's going to be a little bit heavier. And then I think he's missing some ears, so let's find our ears. So now that you've added your ears and your nose and your eyes and your antlers and all of your giraffe spots, now we're going to add a few more details. And now 
you're all done, you have your giraffe. He's ready to be a puppet and be part of your next adventure. Thanks for watching. You can download the templates for these puppets at our website, and I'll see you next time.